Hey guys, what's up? It's High School Mac, and today I have an app review. Today's app is AirDroid. It's a new app on the market. It is currently in beta stage, and it is free. This app lets you control some of the main aspects of your phone from your computer's web browser, and it's all over the air. And I'm just going to get into some of the features right now from inside the app. And we're only going to be in the actual phone app for a little bit because the majority of it is on your computer. And we're going to see right here, on the bottom, which is, you don't even really need to worry about these, just settings and whatnot. And you're going to notice I have it in tethering mode because you can actually use your tethering option. Um, I have my IP address, I type it in my web browser, and I enter the password, and I'm all ready to go. So I'll just go over to the computer side of it now. Hey guys, now I'm on the computer side of the app. So I'm just in Google Chrome, that's what I use as a web browser. And this is the interface that you're going to get when you're connected to it. Um, I'll sh here's my, uh, I typed in the IP that it gives me on the app, and all it'll do is prompt you for the code. And then it'll log you right in, and it's... This is what you get. So it's going to show me my phone, HTC Mecca, which was my Android version. I am running 2.3.7. Gives you a display of your internal memory and your SD card. So, and details on what exactly there is contacts, messages, apps, and you can go in and actually view these. Um, nice little display of what's actually using your memory, too. I am very happy with the overall. Um, display and the appeal of the app in terms of looks. It's a really clean interface and it's just um, nice to look at. So I'm just going to get into these apps right away and you'll see all this is what it has right now. I don't know if they'll be adding in future updates. I'm sure there will be some changes and whatnot but everything right now is working great for me and I'm just going to get into a one of the main features I'm sure people use this for, and which is messaging from here. So new message and it pop up and you're gonna type in the number or you can select from your contacts and just type out whatever you want, pops right up, you send and it sends. So you have contacts which you can view your contacts from your phone and it's grouped by certain groupings and you can add contacts and contact groups from here and it all goes straight to your phone on your contacts app which is nice and just use your recent calls and whatnot and now I'm actually going to show you one of my favorite features which happens to be the file transfer and it offers a, a very nice display of your folders and your SD card it's sorted really nicely and basically this is one of my favorite features because I am rooted and I'm always transferring files from my phone. What's so nice about this is I don't have to have my phone plugged into my computer. It's all right here. It's all wirelessly done and it sends it over and it is fast. So um, I'll just show you guys an example quick. I recorded the video from my phone via screencast and I always get the video off my SD card. So I'll just go and do that right now. And here's my video. I'll click it and I'm going to export. And all it does is just put up a quick download right into Google uh, Chrome, and it's done very fast, all over wirelessly, and now I have it on my computer. So that's very nice, very useful for whatever you have to do for your SD card, just transferring files, ROMs, whatever else you may be. And you can import files, delete everything, basically everything you can do from your computer if your phone is plugged in or on your phone, right from here from your web browser. You can actually go through your photos too. Whoops. And camera roll, wallpapers out there. This wallpaper. You can import pictures too, so you can set wallpapers easily. Download, set it, and delete them. Um, music, this is a really cool option too. And I think this is a nice way to sync music with your phone, especially with this nice interface right here. You can import and you just select the files from your computer. So if you have iTunes, you can just go to your iTunes music folder, select the files. Also, uh, export, so say if you've downloaded songs um, via Google Music or any other thing, sounds and whatnot, you can export to your computer, you can delete, and you can also set as a ringtone notification sound and whatever else. You can easily search and view um, artists and whatever else. And the nice thing for me is I have 
mistakenly had a lot of duplicates on my phone and I can easily go through and see that and delete them right from here. So that's a nice feature. Um, ringtones, you can set your ringtones and apps. Apps you can uninstall and install apps. So nice little feature and I'll just cover this right down here. Shows your phone's battery so you know if your phone's going to die soon. Shows your cell signal and then shows the connection um, of the app to the phone. Uh, your Wi-Fi signal basically. And that basically wraps up this app guys. I'm going to post the link in the description and I think it's very useful and I think this will become a very popular app. So I recommend you guys check it out. It's free. It's beta so expect there to be a few bugs. I haven't ran into any yet but go download it guys. Remember rate, comment, like, and subscribe. See ya.